Friday the 30th of October is World Teachers Day. Thank you to teachers everywhere for your dedication, commitment and professionalism. Thanks especially to teachers in Anglican schools in southern Queensland. In years past, it was quite common for students to give small gifts to teachers, and not just at Christmas. An apple left on the teacher's desk, some flowers hand-picked from home, these were tokens of appreciation and affection. I don't know how often that happens these days, but I do know that teachers continue to influence students' lives in profound ways. Throughout history, Great thinkers have reflected on the importance of teachers and the significant impacts they have in the lives of students. Henry Brooks Adams, the 19th century American novelist, reflected on his own education and said, a teacher affects eternity. He can never tell where his influence stops. Putting to one side the exclusive language of the day, we get his point. Albert Einstein said, it's the supreme art of the teacher to awaken joy in creative expression and knowledge. Joy in creativity and knowledge. More controversially, Aristotle, more than 2,000 years ago, said, teachers who educate children deserve more honour than parents who merely give birth to them. For the latter provided mere life, while the former ensured a good life. You can decide whether you want to share that with your parents or not. Malala Yousafzai, when a young girl, survived being shot in the head by the Taliban. She went on to fight for the rights of girls to education. She graduated from Oxford University and was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. Malala said, one child, one teacher, one book, one pen can change the world. Now, I recognise these insights, while true, are nevertheless a pretty romantic view of teaching. I suspect you do feel these sentiments at special high points in your work, but maybe not every day in the classroom. Teaching's not always easy. It has more than its fair share of challenges, obstacles and disappointments. Students are not always easy to manage or keen to learn or cooperative. The resources you'd like to have are not always there. You don't always get the parents you'd like. Teachers need perseverance and stamina. Above all, I encourage you to stay in touch with critical fundamental values. Teachers are at their best when they are committed to truth, grounded in love, unshakably patient, and offer endless welcome to their students. In other words, at heart, teaching is a profound spiritual practice. At the heart of how God relates to us are these same things, truth, love, patience, endless welcome. Thank you for encouraging, inspiring and building up the children and young people you teach. Your generous giving of yourselves in these ways profoundly shapes our students, our communities and our world. God bless you and thank you.